Happy Magdalene Monday everyone. This is a reading for the 16th of January 2023. I hope that you're all having an amazing start to your week. So let's see what the Venus Rose lineage would like us to know today. Wonderful. So this card comes up a lot. It is card number eight, create a sacred space. It's time to make your home a sanctuary. This is so important. With our busy lives, with everything that's going on in the outside world and the collective consciousness going through so many troubles and worries at this time, those of us that are healers, old soul empaths, and particularly the children of the new golden age, we are picking up the vibrations of our environment. So it's really important that you keep your home a high vibrational temple. And in the times of Yeshua and Mary Magdalene, each of them had, a te you know, their, their home was a temple space. And we're being asked to bring that temple space back into our homes. And it doesn't matter if it's only a small altar somewhere or a windowsill or whether you can make every room into a temple. What matters is that you have a space in your home that does feel peaceful, that does feel a sanctuary, where you can honour the beings of light that you connect with in your belief system. So there's many ways in which we can make our home a sanctuary, but surrounding ourselves with candles, aromatherapy oils, salt lamps, crystals, playing sacred music, having beautiful things around us. In this lineage, it's a lineage of beauty, a lineage um, when we work with Hathor and Venus and the emanations of Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary and Yeshua, it's all about beauty, beauty within, making our space around us beautiful and it makes us feel really good. And if your home is a sanctuary, if your home is high vibrational and you're burning nice incense and making it a beautiful, peaceful space, you can deal with life better. You can deal with work or anything that's going on with the children or anything that you see in the world around you because you're better prepared. If you're having a difficult time right now in your life, you know, if you're not already doing it, consider giving your home a space clear, raising the vibration of your home. And my students always say to me, Eloise, do you space clear your home on your days off? And I say, of course I do. I space clear my home every single day, but on my days off, of course, I want to be in the, you know, the best vibration that I can be in to enjoy life and to feel supported by those emanations. So look at ways in which you can create a sacred space within your home, how you can space clear your home more and bring in that element of beauty. And if you need some help and support with that, you will find on the Teachable platform, I've got some little courses on how to space clear, how to bless your home, how to make it a sacred space. Because when your home is high vibrational and blessed, it is easier to cope with the demands of life around us. And if any of you would like a healing or a seraphim reading or you need any support, please do just personal message me, DM me on one of the platforms. And if you would like to treat yourself to a soul reading, a bespoke reading with the beautiful Magdalene healing cards, do get in touch. And I'm wishing you an amazing week. Have fun making your home or a space in your home your sanctuary. So much love.